Hi John, how are you? I am good. What about you? I am also good. I just called to inform you that. A new student has joined our class yesterday. He is from Paris and moved to India. That's nice to hear from you. Paris is one of the most attractive cities in the world. People love to travel and spend time in beautiful tourist places. The major attraction of this city is the Eiffel Tower which is the most famous symbol of the city. People love to go to see the Eiffel Tower and how it was built and take photos of the tower. People enjoy eating French food in Paris. The city is characterized by attractive and wide streets. Exams are over tomorrow the teacher will show us the marks. I am excited as I did well in exams. I am very nervous as I did not perform well in all subjects. Let's see how it goes. See you tomorrow in class. Hey, you joined yesterday. I was not present yesterday. Actually we shifted to a new apartment. So I was helping my parents. That's good. Yes I joined yesterday. My father was trying for multiple job opportunities in India. Luckily he got a job in one of the MNC. Tell me something about this school. This school is one of the best schools in town. Class fellows and teachers are very helpful and kind. It has a big playground for students. The main gate of the school is very big and wide. It is always guarded by the security men. The school has a big science lab. Computer lab band. Library for students. The school principal is very intelligent and kind and follows strict discipline in school. The school has a good study environment and all teachers focus on the physical educational and mental development of a student. Class I have seen each student's marks in the exam. The student who scored the least is John. John you are consistently performing low in your assessments. Principal would like to meet your parents. Hi. The reason being I called you is that John is performing very poorly in exams. I want to know the reason for the same. He is very lazy and due to this he cannot concentrate and loses interest in studies. He tends to sleep or nap while studying. And this wastes their study time. He loves to spend most of his time hanging out with his friends. He also makes irrelevant reasons for not studying. Like his notes are incomplete. He is not feeling well etc. He spends most of his time playing online games. Watching TV. Talking and chatting on the phone hence ignoring studies in this case what i would suggest prepare two hour study plan for him so that he can revise his daily school work and complete his given homework the rest of the time let him enjoy his life talk to the child whether he is not feeling any mental pressure because parents are the best friend of the child if yes try to minimize that pressure by giving correct guidance to him Also, students themselves can minimize their stress in indulging activities like reading books, listening to songs, chatting with friends or even meditation as this will relax them and they will be relieved from stress. Regularly studying and revising for examinations is important. He should exercise regularly, eat healthy food, and sleep at least for 8 hours. By following a healthy approach in their life, 
he won't be affected by stress and laziness.